Never forget what they did to us in the name of COVID-19. That's the name of my new article I just published on Substack the other day. You should check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. That said, politicians and public health officials have done a lot of harmful things to people they thought would help reduce the spread of SARS-CoV-2, but newsflash, didn't really. And looking back now, the harms seem to be greater than the good they were aiming for. Today, we're going to look at some images. They may be painful to see. They may anger you. They may make you very sad. But as many of these politicians are up for re-election right now and still support the way they handled the pandemic, we need to be reminded of what could happen again. But before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell in the bottom right hand corner so you can be notified when my new videos come out. Also, click my social links in the description below if you want more content like this. I post extra exclusive content on Substack and Patreon if you're interested. Also, I have YouTube memberships now that give you access to more content, so just click the join button below. Anyways, let's get into this. Let's examine the first image. Remember when it was illegal to be on the beach? To this day, I still haven't seen a randomized control trial or observational study supporting this. How about this famous image where a son hugged his elderly father through a plastic hug tunnel in Brazil? It didn't do a thing to reduce the spread. Whoever was going to get COVID got COVID eventually. Moving on, did you forget about outdoor dining? Well, how about those blue cities who took it 10 steps further? Did they not realize the virus could slip out as people left their tents? Or is the virus trained to not leave the tent as soon as people exit? Anyways, how could we forget what schools have done to our children? They were masked social distance, sent home from school to learn on Zoom. No surprise, reading and math scores plunged in recent national data. How about this one though? Remember when you had to leave every other stall empty in the bathroom? How did that work out? Moving on, masking kids during sports, especially high intensity sports, while there were no data to show, being outdoors unmasked put you at a higher risk of getting COVID-19 than indoors. Now this next picture speaks for itself. This is an image of a person in the hospital when visitors were not allowed. In order to simulate a human hand, nurses, doctors, nurse practitioners, and physician's assistants thought filling up gloves with warm water would make people more comfortable. Unbelievable, never forget this. Now this picture was taken in July of 2020. Again, at that time, it was illegal to be on the beach. This man was caught surfing. To stop people from actually improving their health using physical activity, public health officials and politicians closed off basketball courts, remember that? Now, do you remember when you were told what items were essential and non-essential? Do you remember that you weren't allowed to purchase what public health officials and governors deemed non-essential? Not an ounce of science to back doing that. Moving on, sand in skate parks, just like boarding up basketball hoops and closing beaches, yet another intervention that made no sense and of course didn't work. Now look at these napkins. They were given out on Alaska Airlines. They say, quote, after you sip or snack, please put your mask back. A nice little rhyme, huh? Anyways, this next image will attempt to convince you standing opposite each other in an elevator will reduce the spread of SARS-CoV-2. Do you think that really worked? Next, the yellow image you see here is from a New York subway train. It literally is attempting to convince people to cut down on communicating with each other. Now, do you remember when you weren't allowed to purchase seeds from your local grocery stores? There is still no word on the rationale behind this. Of course, if you look here, golfers were affected too. To keep people off golf courses, towns plugged the holes with styrofoam. And last but not least, your governors and mayors allowed liquor stores and McDonald's to remain open, but were sure playing hockey on ice would spread the virus even more. So much so, you were fined $100 if you played hockey versus just skated on the ice. Listen, the politicians who implemented these silly policies are now up for re-election and they're looking for your vote. Many are trying to deny they did these things. And if you re-elect them, they will likely continue on with masking kids, vaccine mandates, and other silly virus mitigation that hurts more people than helps. Share this video with everybody you know, and I'll see you on the next one.